Breaker okay, but electrical outlets not working. Hello, and thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how to fix or diagnose a partial power outage in the house. First of all, let me start with this disclaimer. I'm not an electrician, I'm not giving electrical advice, but rather I'm showing you how I diagnosed this problem. This is where my toaster would be. This morning I toasted my bagels, had my coffee, coffee maker sits over here, and everything was fine. I left the room, my wife came in to use the microwave, and she goes, the microwave is dead. So it being an old microwave, I just took it for granted, it was finally gone. When I checked out the microwave, I found out there was no power coming from this outlet also. So I went downstairs, through the circuit breaker, came upstairs, still no power in all three outlets. The rest of the kitchen, everything worked. These three outlets, there was no power coming in. Now, if you notice this outlet here, it's got two sets of wires. So one wire is feeding this outlet and one wire is going to feed another. Coming back to this outlet, where the coffee pot sits, same thing. One set of wires is coming in, one set of wires is going out. So it's being fed and it's also feeding another outlet. Come to this outlet and we have this one set of wires. So this is the end of the run. What's going on? Now, sometimes these outlets, especially when they put them in like this, where they plug them into the back, there's a spring that holds that tight. And sometimes that spring may give, and a little bit of vibrations over the course of time, this is here for over 30 years, the inside could go, and it could cause a short of disconnection where it's not tripping the circuit breaker, but the outlet's no good. So instead of just checking the outlets, I checked each one of these wires on all the outlets. All the outlets were fine. Now I'm saying, where do I go from here? I checked every outlet in the house to see if any other ones were connected to this. Every outlet in the house was working. I went downstairs to the panel box, not sure on which one of the circuit breakers connects this series of outlets, I flipped them all on and off. Still nothing. Again, I went through the whole house. I checked every light switch, every outlet. They all had power. Next step, I went to the panel box and I checked each one of the circuits to make sure power was coming out of the circuit breaker. Every circuit breaker had power coming out of it. I'm at a total loss. My concern was that there was a break inside the wall somewhere, and to repair this, I was gonna have to fish wires through the wall. Before I took any drastic measures, I called a friend of mine up who's an electrician, and he asked me, do I have any GFI outlets in the house? Now, this, when this house was built, the GFI outlets, I don't believe were around at the time, but they had GFI circuit breakers. Maybe they were out, but I have a GFI circuit breaker in the garage that connects to one of the kitchen outlets, the outside outlet, and the bathroom outlets. But that was working. They all had power. He goes, go through that breaker. All right, after checking these breakers over and over and checking all the other outlets to see if anything else wasn't working, what I did was to check the continuity on these block wires. And the way I did that is by disconnecting the outlet and just touching the wire. I connected one lead to one block wire, one lead to the block wire on this outlet. When I didn't get any continuity, I switched wires, and then the second wire had the continuity running between them. So I knew there was continuity between this outlet and this outlet. Now, I had to check if there was continuity going to that outlet. The way I did that is I got an extension cord, and I checked which one of the outlets, just to make sure, was connected to this pr this prong. I stuck only one prong into the outlet 
and I ran this wire over to that outlet and and I connected the meter to the prong side and then from the and then the other lead of the meter I connected to the wire on here I had continuity now I know there's continuity going from this outlet to that outlet to that outlet what I don't know is what's feeding this outlet over here again I tried all the breakers and I'm working all these outlets look good so where do I go from here oh and one other thing I did was disconnect the neutral wires and all the neutral wires had um, continuity so the neutrals were okay these outlets were okay where's it being fed I couldn't figure it out I went out and I bought I went to Harbor Freight and you can get these online I put a post down below they have better units than this online Harbor Freight was close to me it was closer than any of the other stores and I didn't want to wait so I picked it up some of the reviews on this were great some were so so if you like click on the link up above I have a review that I did on this but the way I worked with this is like turn this on to tone turn the receiver on connect it to a wire and when I connected it to the black wire I was able to trace the tone which I already knew I had continuity but it worked but it's very very faint and what's bad let me show you there's a negative about this it's this when you click on it beeps even when you're not near it because you buy the you buy the uh, sender so when you're going through the wall you really have to listen for it because what will happen if you pull it away from the wall and it's close to that receiver it still beeps I don't know if a higher end unit would work better than this but this is what I worked with so now I took this wire tracer I connected it to this wire to the black wire again these have to be the power has to be off and well when I get in power but the power has to be off and I disconnected it from here they have to be disconnected hooked it onto the wire and I was able to trace that one wire went one direction one wire went the other direction but it stopped just about here my boiler is running right now and if I turn this on you won't hear it anyway right here so does the wire go up the wire goes down when I go in the basement the trouble down below is that it's sheetrock and I can't tell where the wires are going I don't know if they're coming from the attic down or from the basement up outlet is working this is in the kitchen the other outlets over here and you're coming around and I'm assuming it's coming from here pull this apart this out as a matter of fact this outlet I changed just about uh, four months ago because it was loose the plugs were falling out and this outlet was fine there's nothing wrong with it but by turning the breakers on and off I found the outlet on the other side of this wall in the dining room is connected to this outlet let's go take a look at that this is in the dining check this outlet over here and this outlet was working what was plugged into this outlet was coming on and off there was a lamp connected to this but we have two sets of wires coming here the reason these wires are together is because after I pulled them out I connected them together and the lights in the other room came on but the way I found out which was which could have used the um, extension cord and the voltmeter again but instead I used this cable tracker Okay, it's loud ones by there so even though it died out on this end see it's hot you can still hear it when I come in when I go to the other room again into the kitchen where the microwave gets plugged in we have the connection so now I know that this outlet is connected to the one in the other room
before I went any further, I made sure my refrigerator and my appliances were connected to this line. Went downstairs, turned the circuit breaker back on, just had these two wires touch one another, and these two touch one another, and the lights in the other room came on. So this was the issue right here. This one outlet right here. And I'm taking this out. Let me show you what it looks like. All right, and here's that outlet. Now this was one of the original outlets when the house was built. So this is maybe like 30 years old. I cracked this when I was taking it out, but there wasn't much pressure on it when it cracked. So looking at it by eye, you don't see any, you don't physically see anything wrong with it. And that's the problem. All these outlets were installed by pushing the wire into the back end. And from what I found out, over a course of time, when the power's on, power off, power on, power off, there's a, there's a spring in here, and it could loosen up a little bit. If that spring loosens up, it arcs, and it doesn't, either it burns out, it doesn't make the right contact, whatever the case may be, it wasn't working. Power coming into this was fine. It was supplying power to the lamp that was attached to it. I have a power strip attached to this. When we were in the living room, we, uh, the kids plug their games into the power strip. Not into this, but the power strip that's connected to this. So maybe that current on and off, on and off. I don't know. Maybe that's what I did it with this one. Because everything else is the same age and nothing else went out. Inside of here is where the fault was on the inside of this outlet. So again, by looking at it, you couldn't tell. Maybe one of the ones on the inside were bad too. That's why I was checking the wires and not the outlets, just in case the outlet was bad and I'd be going crazy looking for the opening. But if you have aluminum wires, from what I understand, it's even worse. So I'm off now to pick up a couple outlets. I'm going to change uh, the other ones out also. And once I get this all together and the microwave, the toaster, the coffee machine working, I'll be back to show you the results. All right. I changed this outlet. I didn't change the other ones because I picked up the wrong color. But I changed the outlet. I threw the circuit breaker. Let's see if this one still works now. Okay. This one works. This is the one that was working to begin with. But it also feeds the other lines. And it wasn't feeding the other lines. Let's go check inside. All right, this is where the coffee pot goes. That outlet's working. This is where the toaster goes. This outlet's working. Go check the microwave. Plug it in, see what doing with that. Okay. It's the microwave. And the microwave's working. Okay, so we're good. That was it. So as a recap, if you run to a situation like this, this outlet's in the kitchen along with the three that weren't working. This outlet had power, but it went from this outlet to an outlet in the other room. And from the outlet in the other room, it went around the wall and powered the other three outlets. That threw me a curve because I was expecting all the outlets in the same room to be on the same power source. So if you run into a situation like this, don't take anything for granted. Who knows how it was originally wired and what was done after the fact. And if you're not sure how to proceed with this, you've never done it before, don't mess with it, call an electrician in. I'm just stating again that I'm not an electrician. I'm not telling you how to do this. This is how I found this open line and what I did to correct it. I hope you did find it useful. And if so, let me know by giving a like, posting your comments or questions down below. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe. At the end of this video, hit that Joe Z button to subscribe to my channel. And be sure to hit that bell not to miss my new videos as I upload them. And until next time, everyone, stay safe.